I think it's crazy going from a Disney star to being a CEO. At the end of the day, I feel like Yale didn't do this for social media. Like, they don't have to go back to the streets. Right. It's like, wow, like, you just got to give people the chance. When inmates do get out of prison, they struggle to find a job. What's up, you guys? This is a Dorm Room 101 podcast, the podcast that has everything and nothing to do about college. I am your girl, Victoria, and I'm today I'm with my co-host, Mike Gittins. What's going on? How are you feeling today? Um, I'm good. I'm not going to lie. I'm low-key tired, but like... You know when like you have that little bit of energy, it's like mm-hmm. okay, like we're we're getting there. Like I could go to sleep, and well, I was gonna say and not wake up, but like <laughs> you know what I mean. Like I yeah. go to sleep and just like sleep for the rest of the night. That's what I meant. Not like not wake up. Okay, like, so a little lazy day. Yeah, I, okay. I definitely I need a lazy day. Even though this weekend was like calm, I still need see. Yeah, I think yeah. after even like working so hard and stuff, like yeah. working all day, it's like I just want to go home. No, I'm. I could imagine the way. You, shoot, I'd be like, "Are you home yet?" Like, you'd be like, "No, I'm literally still here." No, <laughs> like, cause you work Monday through Thursday. Monday yes, through Friday? I do Monday through Thursday, and then I have a part time job. Yeah, just imagine. Right, but it's okay. We're gonna be rich one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and me and Maya are, are on the grind right now. Literally. It's only up from here, y'all. Like, yes. We're trying. Mm-hmm. We really are. Right. <laughs> well, speaking of that, speaking of like working hard and being on a grind, I wanted mm-hmm. to talk about a trending topic that's yeah. going on uh, on around right now. Mm-hmm. And it's about Bridget Mendler. Um, yeah, she is a Disney star yeah. that um, appeared on Good Luck Charlie. Yeah. And um, Lemonade yeah, Mouth. Lemonade Mouth. I watched that. Yes. Um, Bridget Mendler, she she was big. She was big yeah. on Disney, you know. I think even with her like her music career and stuff. Yeah, she, she did was, really well. She was popping. She was popping. And recently, a news just came about, and everybody was kind of like shocked about it. Mm-hmm. She has earned her. Well, this is what I heard. She hasn't earned her PhD yet, but she's working towards her PhD. She's about to get it, and she is a CEO of a space company. Mm-hmm. Which I think is crazy going from a Disney star to being a CEO of a space company. That's wild. Um, and I just feel like if that doesn't show you, like, you could do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. And you could really just pursue a higher education. Mm-hmm. That's insane. What What are your thoughts about it? I don't it? know. So when you sent it to me, I was like, oh, like, this, this is crazy. But I found her... I found her on LinkedIn. Yeah. And I was looking at her LinkedIn account and I was like, holy cow. Like, it showed um, obviously MIT. Um, and then she did the Bureau or Federal Communication, um, which is, I'm guessing, at the Bureau or whatever. It shows that she didn't finish at um, Southern California. It says, like, literally incomplete. Um, but it looks like it updated because it says like she's obviously going to get her doctorate or whatever. It says right now on leave, so yeah. I don't know like why. But um, that's insane. Like I don't know. I always think about stars and people who like are celebrities and stuff. Cause I think I don't know if it's Fifty Cent's like girlfriend or rep. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I know there's a girl. And it was, like, um, she's, like, in school for being a lawyer. Like, yeah. you know, you have this money. But, like, these people are generally, like, really, really intelligent. Like, very yeah. smart. Like, I feel like when we look at social media, we look at these famous people. It's like, oh, like, that's all they will ever do or all they ever be. And they get so much hate not realizing, like, these people can, like, not only can they afford going to school. Yeah. But they generally have, like, the ability and the mindset and, like, the people around them possibly to, like elevate even further so it was interesting to see like mit and like the space stuff and i did see like an interview that she did and she was basically talking about why she did it why she started and just like kind of like the transition was really difficult Mm -hmm. because all people see her as is like a disney star that's all people ever known that she is and even looking at comments it's like people are like oh my god you bought your way into this and blah 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 and you know everybody knows about the scandals that happen in like college and Mm -hmm. you know celebrities playing for their kids to go to school yeah so it's like to see her grind very very hard and also her being a woman period yes um you know going to get a phd like that is not easy Mm -hmm. like you know it it just shows that she has a very strong mindset she has a passion and she's 
genuinely doing something that she loves. And, you know, I, I commend her because space, right. like, you know, a lot of that's also probably more male dominant as well. Yeah. So just her being a female working in it. I know people mm-hmm. are like, holy crap, like, oh, this Disney star is coming to do yeah. whatever. And like, she's probably asking like, no, I know my shit. Like, yeah. I know what I'm doing. And right. people are like um a little bit like a little intimidated i like right. it I yeah good it. i applaud her too because even like i would like if i'm a disney star and i got it I'd be like yeah i'm not going to school and the fact that like yeah. she went from disney to that and i even think i saw like something of her saying like oh like disney wasn't intentionally what she wanted, wanted yeah i did and see that she ended up you know she ended up becoming a star out of it but she ended up doing what she loved mm-hmm. and she ended up pursuing a higher education like that's amazing you know and even seeing other celebrities too like megan the stallion going to school yeah. and stuff and like you would think it's like girl like you're a <laughs> rapper you like you worldwide like yeah why are you going to school? Cool, exactly yeah. like you think about like all this money that people get obviously being a celebrity and stuff and to think that there are people out there who, you know, even though Disney or being in movies wasn't the path that they generally wanted to pursue to begin with, it helped them to get to the higher education. And I feel like mm-hmm. if you can, I always tell if you can make money a different way, do it. Yeah. Legally. Not illegally. Yeah. Legally. <laughs> if you can make money legally, um, I think, and you're like, you know, let me do this before I decide to do a higher education. And I feel like that's kind of the way she went is like, you know what? This is not the path I really want, but it's going to get me to where I need to be. And I think that's very important. And even seeing, like you said, Megan Thee Stallion and all these celebrities who do eventually like go back to school and they get a lot of hate for it. Like, oh my God, like you have so much money. Why would you go back to school? Mm -hmm. Listen, if I not only, I think one of the greatest things, the greatest things about school is and in a sense being a celebrity imagine being a celebrity and you decide i'm going to go to school for to be a lawyer to Mm. be an attorney whatever i can look at my own contracts i don't have to pay somebody to do my contracts i can Mm -hmm. literally sit down and run my business by myself because i have a background and i have a degree Mm. yeah and something to where it's like if i wanted to do a startup i can yeah if i have a lawyer background i can look at all my contracts and be like cross this out nope can't do this like you understand Mm -hmm. to where people can't even like undermine you or throw you under the bus under things so i definitely would say like if i was a celebrity like i would want to go to like i would want to go to school Mm -hmm. and specifically though i would go to school for like business or like an attorney like something law because it's like oh what girl i'm gonna look at all these contracts and you Mm. are not gonna be able to take any money for i give you five percent that's true like i didn't i never thought of that and then i after megan and like i don't know the other lady's name um i feel like her name is like cuban or something like that yeah but like they go to school and you're like when i think about it, i'm like oh shoot like you could really run your own business. Like you would not Mm -hmm. really have to hire people Mm -hmm. because you went to school for something specific and you know, then you could help your friends out and things of that nature where they don't have to hire a million dollar attorney. It's like, girl, I got you. Like, you know, that's how, that's how I look at it. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I think even too, like having it as a backup, like if Megan Thee Stallion said today, like, Oh, I want to quit music. Yeah. She will be perfectly fine. And if she wants to get into her other career, that has Mm -hmm. to do with her degree. She could do that and be fine because all that music is just gonna she's gonna yeah. keep getting revenue for it. Yeah. No matter exactly. what, if she quits today or not. Like mm. she's gonna keep getting revenue for those songs. That is very true. I didn't even think of that. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine I would I would I would love to do that. Just being like, Oh, music career, I'm good. Yeah. And just like, you know, imagine like becoming like a professor. Like right. you went from an artist to going to school and be like, I think that's a really good thing. And I feel like money is that's where like money gets involved Mm -hmm. is like not to say money buys you everything, but I feel like money definitely gives you a better opportunity. Yeah. And just to think that like a lot of these people do have second options that, you know, your average person may not have Yeah. of like, "Mm, you know what? I'm just going to go back to school for the, for the hell of it. Like I can pay for it. I can go and nine out of 10, like give a little donation. I'll probably be fine. Yeah. (laughs) Like that type of thing. So I mean, shoot, I I would do it if I had if I was famous and I had the money, I'd probably if I got bored, I would go get every degree I could think of that right. I would be interested in. It's hard to even think of like their schedule though. Like, how do you even maintain that? It must yeah. take you a really long time, like just to even do that. Yeah, I think like I think on for them even um 
Storm Reed. Mm-hmm. She going to US USC, mm-hmm. and then her going to the like her winning. Did she win an Emmy or Oscar? She won an Oscar, I think. Okay. Or Emmy. I don't know. Can somebody look that up if she won an Emmy or Oscar? <laughs> um, but you know, she won an award and stuff like that. Um, and just to think, like, then it's like back to school, like right. the balance. And that's why I say to people, like, nothing is like impossible to mm-hmm. do. Your life can be as simple as you want, or it can be as grand as you want. Mm-hmm. It just depends on the work that you're gonna put in to get there. Yes. And to see Megan, to see uh, Medler, to see Storm, like to see them, and literally they're sitting there and they're like, "Oh, this is it. Like this is what it's doing." Bro, that's amazing. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, like I, I like hard even... hard work really like just pays off. Yeah. It mm-hmm. really does. I know you also sent me um the inmates. Yes. Which um would be that's insane. Yes. Yeah. So Literally. for those of you that don't know, that was Yale. I was bro. I read I read that and I was like, Yeah. Ye- like Yale? Like right. the Yale, you know? Which I wanna I'm gonna get into it. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get into that. So Yale decided to um create this program for inmates to get degrees from jail. Mm-hmm. So so far from the, they started up the program and seven inmates now have associate's degrees as part of the um joint program by Yale and mm-hmm. also University of New Haven. And they could obviously keep going with it and stuff. But um yeah, I think it's amazing that I when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Like the fact that they're giving people that are in prison like opportunities to get a uh, higher education mm-hmm. and whatever. It not only motivates them, but also I feel like there's a thing of where like when inmates do get out of prison, they struggle to find a job yeah. because they have a record. Yeah. So it's like, wow, it gives them an opportunity to get out of that. And if you think about it, when inmates get out of jail, right, mm-hmm. they can't find a job. They're going to go back to what they what were doing they, yeah. before. What they know. So I was like, wow, this is amazing mm-hmm. and stuff. And people were in the comments hating on it. Really? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I did see that. So they were hating on it because they're like, you know, there's people that work so hard to get into Yale And they have to pay all this money or whatever. And sometimes they don't get chosen. So they're like, how can someone that went to jail have this opportunity? Yeah. Um, My thoughts on that is like, first of all, at the end of the day, Yale has a lot of money. A lot of these colleges do. So what they do with their money is what they do with their money. My whole thing is like, you decide, is Yale Ivy? Ivy Yes, Ivy. So with that, the way I think of it is... You want to, you decide that you want to go to Yale. Yale decided that they were going to give somebody the opportunity to go and have inmates the opportunity mm-hmm. to go to school. There's, I can't recall schools that do that, like colleges that do that. Mm-hmm. So the fact that Yale is like, you know what, we're a big school. We can, you know, have the opportunity to give people an opportunity to do these things. So with that being said, it's like, I... I don't understand why people are so upset because it's like, okay, like some people didn't get into Yale. These people are not going on campus. They're not living in these houses. Mm-hmm. Nine and they're doing like an online program. Yeah. So they're not taking your chances. They're not taking your opportunity. Right. You're just not good to go to Yale. Right. I, like that's just like, yeah. I know I'm not good to go to Yale. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I could last a day right. in Yale 24 hours. So for people to be like, oh, like you're not giving, like you're giving these people an opportunity, like, and Clearly, as you can see, these people worked hard. Yeah. And they're like, oh, shoot, somebody's going to give me a chance. And I feel like there's a lot of people, and I understand, like, people that go to jail. Like, I get where the the mis, like, the the miscommunication comes from. Like, oh, these are bad people. There are some people in there who are in there for the smallest charges you can think of, and it could be marijuana. And now, guess what, guys? Marijuana is fucking legal. So, I mean, you got to think of the people that they are picking for these opportunities mm-hmm. like they're not gonna get like they're not gonna let somebody who is a murderer like you have to probably yeah. meet a certain criteria yeah to actually get into these programs and i think even too like 
the people that probably have been chosen and stuff, they probably genuinely want to change yeah. their lives. Like, I genuinely think people, like, they make mistakes, they go mm-hmm. to jail and stuff, and they regret it. They're yeah. like, you know, like, I, I want to do better for myself. And I, and there's people that they come out of jail and they change. Yeah. So don't, like, judge someone just because they're in prison because this person could be a changed mm-hmm. person, you know? Exactly. And the fact that they went, they did the program, and they got their degree, Re- that yeah. showed everything. Literally. And it's like, and I think what, is going to come out of it is more schools are going to try to do it. Yeah. More schools are going to try to jump on the bandwagon of like, oh, let's, you know, yeah. let's take one for the team or whatever. And then, you know, there might be people who continue to hate or whatever. And then you can see if people are like, you know what, this is a good chance. And social media is going to take it and they're going to run mm. with it. The news is going to take it and they're going to run with it. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I feel like Yale didn't do this for social media. Mm -hmm. Yale did this because of the fact that they saw an opportunity for people Mm -hmm. and they were like, you know what, let's have the chance to do it. And obviously I don't, I don't go to Yale. So I I don't, I'm not on the board, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. But from the outside looking in the way it came about, it wasn't announced. Yale wasn't like, Oh, we've decided to do this. Like it was kind of like they did it. They showed you like, Oh, these are the people that graduated. And it was like, Oh shoot. Yo, mm. like that's how it came off. Yeah. It came off very genuine. It came off very thoughtful, very thought out. So I don't know. I just don't see it being a bad thing. And I, the people that are like mad about it, it's like, what are you upset about? Like, what, like, why mm-hmm. do you feel the need to have an opinion on something that you really don't know anything about or probably didn't do any research about? Mm-hmm. It's just something to say. It's just right. something to talk about. Like, I think people, they're quick to judge, but they're not in that yeah. situation. Like, I think I think it's an amazing thing that these inmates get to have a degree. Yeah, like have an opportunity mm-hmm. to come out of you know a really bad place in their life and have hope mm-hmm. that their life can change for the better and that they have the ability to do something with their life. And it's like oh, like for example, the streets. Like oh, obviously a lot of people talk about it. Like they don't have to go back to the streets. Right. It's like wow, like. Somebody and I, I feel like people don't understand. Like you just gotta give people the chance, yeah, to like do it, and that that goes for people in prison. That goes for people out of prison. Like that just goes for people mm-hmm. across the board. Like sometimes you just have to give somebody the freaking opportunity mm-hmm. to do it. And there are sometimes where people will do it, and they'll be like, they'll figure it out. Oh, this isn't for me. I don't want to do this, mm-hmm. and that's okay. Right. Don't beat them up because it's like I give you a chance. That's fine. You mm-hmm. know what? It wasn't for you. Great. I'm happy that you had the opportunity to do it and you know it's not for you and we're going to move on. Right. But I just don't feel like beating somebody up about something or like an organization about something because you per se don't like it. Yeah. That has nothing to do with you mm-hmm. at all. Right. These people are graduating and God knows where these inmates are going to be in 10 years. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, they're not going to be numbers anymore. They're not going to be inmate seven five three four six zero right. anymore. Mm-hmm. They're going to be, they're going to have names. They're going to have jobs. They're going to have a life. So you can't even put the inmate sticker on them anymore at the end yeah. of the day because they eventually are going to come out. They're eventually going to do things better or whatever the case may be. And mm-hmm. honestly, sometimes that's all people need is they need somebody to give them hope and they need somebody to literally believe in them. Yeah. Generally. So. And you generally don't even know like what's going on, why they did what they did, yeah. like you know. And it's not it's not to say like oh like as, a, as an excuse or mm-hmm. whatever, but at the end of the day, like sometimes people they come from really bad places. places yeah, they're not raised the right way mm-hmm. and stuff, Very and true. you know they learn their lesson later on. Mm-hmm. You know, so like I hate when people want to judge someone based on like where they're from like if you're not in that situation you're not in that scenario don't you you have nothing to say you literally you can't put a title or put a sticker which it does suck because we do it every day we put a sticker or we put a title on people and we're like you look this way you're you know Mm -hmm. and it it obviously sucks but i feel like yale is is doing a great thing and i think more schools colleges especially should do it i know obviously a lot of them have like the ged programs Mm -hmm. but I think more schools should do, like, you know, what Yale is doing where you can get your degree or whatever. Yeah. Are they doing, is it, like, a degree or is it, like, a GED? It's a degree. So, the seven inmates that have graduated, they got associates. Yeah. I don't know if they could go further or whatever, yeah. but if they can, that's amazing, too. Like, but. that's what I'm, like, an associate's degree, like, wait, GEDs are for high school. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
well, I was way off. That's like if you drop out of high Just school. school and you get Yeah, got it. but there's some there's some inmates too that they have dropped out of yeah. high school. So they give them an opportunity to get their GED. That's what I know most most people do is like yeah. a lot of them mm-hmm. get their GED or whatever. So t- to come out of like Yeah, or you could do also trade school too in prison as well. Trade school? Like mm-hmm. that's like where like engineering, plumbing, oh. like all that kind yeah, of work. Where you stuff. can like oh yeah. And th- all of those you have to meet a certain criteria. You have to meet mm-hmm. a certain like, you know, just just like college. Yeah. You have to meet a certain criteria. So like it the only thing they probably not doing is paying the money that you're paying if you're going to Yale. Yeah. So you know, I think you know, having the opportunity or whatever because we I mean I feel like a lot of people that might be hating don't even go to Yale. Like yeah. half of the time No, that's why they're mad because they're like, Oh, I can't I couldn't yeah, get into it. I couldn't Yale. get into it. And I'm like, you know, listen and understand like not everything is for you. So mm-hmm. if you didn't get into Yale, maybe that is not the place that you were supposed to be at the end of the day. And like I tell people like college is a lot of money and you really have to you really have to love what you are doing mm-hmm. to go to a school like and I always say, if you generally can look up jobs and it says, like, no degree required, mm-hmm. that does you don't need to go to college. But if you want to go experience it, go to one of your friend's colleges first and go out on a Friday night. Stay with them for the week or the weekend or something. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying do this, but, like, I know one of my friends, um, her friend had come up to school or whatever, and she stayed with us for the week. And she was like, oh, like, I want to go to college. But, like, she didn't really know. So she stayed with us for the week and she was coming to class with us. She didn't go she didn't go to school. Yeah. Like, half of those teachers <laughs> half of those teachers are not like attendant. Like they have no idea. Yeah. So and it was like the first week of school, so like yeah. people are still trying to get to know, you know. And she was coming to class with us. Our teachers did not say a word, gave out papers, and she she was like, I actually like it. And she decided she was like, I'm gonna apply. Like she got whatever she needed, her requirements. She did it online for a year and then she went to school yeah and it's like I'm not saying that's the best way to to get it done <laughs> but i'm just saying like just kind of figuring it out because like i said college is not for everybody mm-hmm. like listen that is i feel like college is a need in a haystack yeah like you gotta you gotta really want to go or like your family has to really be like listen like if you're not gonna do anything here you gotta do something yeah because you gotta have a plan yeah like i feel like and sometimes college is somebody's plan like you know Mm -hmm. it's not everybody's plan but it's it's something like sometimes your parents make it your plan like my dad because that man said is either you work or you go to school yeah and i wasn't really big on school like i was like like i didn't mind going and i'm not to like not i'm not gonna say toot my horn because i feel like i'm gonna get killed for that but I feel like I be seeing on like social media where they'd be like, if you're if you were like a C student and you hated school, you're gonna be an entrepreneur. So we'll see what my lifestyle becomes because um, <laughs> my grades were not the best. Um, in college, I did pretty well, but like college was I don't know. College for me was easier than high school. That's how I feel. Really? Okay. College was but way we, easier. But we know my story. I started <laughs> in high school. <laughs> I feel like college was way easier than high school. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, and I feel like. I like the responsibilities. Like, I just like right. the, like, environment I was in. You know, I must say this. You know why people say college is hard? It's because you have to... It's mandatory to get things done. Yeah. That's why they say college is hard. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily the work. I yeah. wouldn't... I personally don't mm-hmm. think so. But it's really just about... In high school, right? Like, let's say, like, you're missing a whole bunch of assignments. Yeah. Teachers give you makeup dates, and they give you time you to, You do like, not get makeup dates in college. Yeah. Like, they give you the time to mm-hmm. really, like get your grades up yeah. and, and fix it, whatever. With college is either you do it or you don't. They will put And if zero. you don't, you will have a zero and you will fail. Like there's no, no making up in yeah. college. Those That's why they care. say college is hard. But college isn't yeah. really hard. Like that's like on rate rate my rate my professor. Yeah. Where I'll that's how listen, I commend every college student to go on rate your professor. If you are a freshman going in like and you want to know what your professor is like, go on that. Excuse me. And it'll help you a lot. Um for me, rate my professor I didn't really use it until I think my sophomore year, mm-hmm. but even when I was doing it and learning about some of these teachers, and one of there was one teacher I had to have, like I didn't, there was no other teacher option, yeah. and I was like, oh, great, like all I saw was like, oh, he's so rude, like disrespectful, and it was like something about like he gives like zeros like automatically. That man was the nicest teacher I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that's why sometimes I don't really trust right, yeah. my professor either. Sometimes it'd be right, but it's a hair mess. Yeah, it's very because much a hair mess. there's. 
I have many experiences like that yeah. where I there's low ratings on teachers mm-hmm. and stuff, and they're one of the best, best teachers, teachers I ever, have. Yeah. And I think a lot of the ratings too that goes on that is like people that don't want to put in the work. Yeah, exactly. So it's like if you're gonna sit there and rate your professor, be honest about not the work they did, but the work you put in. Yeah. In that class. Because nine out of ten, a lot of the kids are like, oh my God, they give too much work. Or were you behind a couple right. of weeks? Like, what was it really? Yeah. You know? So when I look at it, I'm like, listen, rate your professor. I personally liked it. Like Victoria said, it definitely is a hit or miss for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it definitely helped me just to kind of figure out like, okay, what kind of teacher am I looking for? Especially if you're in like a bigger school like Chapel Hill, Duke, like, yeah. you know, all those bigger schools, for me, going to App- Appalachian State, it is smaller, which I loved. I loved the intimacy of, like, being my te- like being in my department and it being small. I really did like that um, because, you know, you get more one-on-one yeah. time with your teachers. So I personally think that that's why I said, for me, Ivy League, I even if I had the grades and my family was like, you're going to be a doctor, I just personally liked the smaller environment because I'm very personable and I like – the one-on-one conversations like mm-hmm. I like having like a smaller dynamic than it being 150 kids and I'm like hey asking my teacher for an opinion and they're like oh you're in my class and they literally have no idea who I am yeah like I think that's honestly the worst feeling I've ever had yeah I've always worked better in smaller environments yeah too. I think it just it it helps um because then your teacher can really kind of figure out like even though they'd be having like 20 other things on their plate it gives your teacher the opportunity to really help you one on one. Yeah. Um. That's why I like I commend all the people that go to Yale. But I know your pockets is is, is heavy. I know that that debt is is calling your name. And honestly, if you go to Yale or have been to Yale, let me know what your college debt is like. Yeah. Did you pay it off yet? No, I would really, I would really like like a Yale store, like anyone from Ivy League on yeah. this podcast, because we recently did like a uh, episode and we talked about Ivy Leagues, and I yeah. personally felt I was like. You know, like, they don't really yeah. help. It's not that they don't help, but I feel like it's really on you yeah. to make your experience at that school. Mm-hmm. But I would generally want to hear from a person that goes to Ivy League school, like, if it's really worth, worth the it, money, yeah. you know? Yeah, I agree. So, we're asking if you are an Ivy League student or was an alumni of an Ivy League um, and live in New York City, because we're not doing Zoom. So... If you live in New York City and you're open to coming on Dorman 101 podcast and honestly talking about your experience um, at an Ivy League school and like what that really looks like and stuff and maybe prove us wrong, honestly, because obviously we don't we don't know what that's like. We only see what TikToks show us and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, we try to do our due diligence as much as possible. But we would love to have somebody on here who like actually have experienced the walls of an Ivy League school. So. I would love that, honestly. Um, so, yeah. I personally think that Yale is doing an amazing job. And, honestly, I'm really interested interested to see what else Medler does. Because I think that what she's doing right now is... I think it shows women, like, overall, like, bro. Like, mm-hmm. nothing is impossible at right. all. Like, everything that... You, if you are willing to, like put the work in Mm -hmm. that's exactly what's gonna happen it's gonna pay off and listen there's a meme going around about meddler right now (laughs) and it's hilarious because i even posted it and it was like if i send you this picture and it was just her like cheesing like that and it was like just know i'm up to something like i'm I'm doing what i gotta do right because she was real quiet she was real quiet i didn't know what i feel like she fall off the face of the earth and then all of a sudden yeah i got this i was like the last time i heard from her was hurricane like (laughs) come on (laughs) she popped out on everybody and i was like girl you did what you're you have a what wait right a space company you went from disney to a space company (laughs) i was like wait when did this huh like, you know when you're just like, whoa. Yeah. That's like the person in your, that you went to school with where you're like, oh, I thought their life would turn out this way, but it turned out completely yes. different. And you're like, but like, what? Right. How did this? Okay. Great. Right. That's like, why you, that's why you move silently. Don't ever tell people your moves. Bro, do not listen. Move in silence. That's the best way yes. to do what you got to do. Um. So, Yeah. But no, I'm I'm really interested to see what more she does. And mm-hmm. honestly, like what else Yale does, because I think that this is a great opportunity and I think more schools should do it because, mm-hmm. um, you know, they're already able to get their GED. So for them to be able to get their um, associate's degree and, you know, 
just having like you know somewhat of a support system yeah you know because obviously not everybody's going to support that but i think people having the opportunity to feel supported yeah. is needed despite you know what happened in the past yeah you know at the end of the day like we said we might not forget but you know people do need to forgive yeah um and like i said i'm pretty sure there's a specific criteria for it mm -hmm. um so i listen shout out to yo because i think it's a great opportunity for people and it gives people hope yeah so i think it's amazing but my three pieces of advice for today is is this like a mm, move in silence yeah that's one <laughs> that's one for sure like move in silence do what you need to do um not everybody needs to know what you got going on because some people do envy you some people don't like you some people are really not your friend so you don't got to tell everybody um what you're doing and sometimes that's family as well okay because they will have an opinion right so like victoria said move in silence i think that's like that's that that's what it is yeah move in silence because a lot of people are gonna be like well when did you don't worry about it just know i got done you see me right <laughs> exactly so i don't really i don't think i have another one i'm not gonna lie i think more of the story moving yeah, yeah more of the story yeah do what you gotta do move quiet okay mind your business <laughs> somebody wants to get a degree and they're from prison oh god Mind your business. Mind your business. Let them do what they got to do. Because guess what? They might come take your job. Okay. Just, just put it out there. <laughs> you know, period. But um, yeah, this is Dorman 101 Podcast. The podcast that has everything and, and nothing, nothing to, to do, do about college. college. Um, Once again, I am your girl, Maya Gittins. And of course, I am here with Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> period um but yeah we will see you guys in our next episode um and yeah you guys have a great day great night and a great life oh that was nice yes a great day great life damn Ooh, i fucked it up anyways, up. Wrap, anyways it up. <laughs> wrap it up um but we will see you guys in our next video so bye, bye.